now my Yorkie, Annie. And this next clip is her just standing there looking at my grandpa, her favorite person. Uh, I mentioned before that my grandfather passed away on June 30th of 2020. And after he passed away, I took over the responsibility of his Yorkie, Annie. So there she is, no my little snickerdoodle. Now she's mine. She lives with me. She was born on February 10th of 2012. So she is pretty old. <laughs> and she's a wishy-washy Aquarius. I don't know if you guys believe in zodiac signs, but I do. And she is a spoiled little brat. And I spoil her. I treat her the way my grandpa treated her and better. So when he passed, I took over as well as taking over her insurance with Banfield. There we are right there walking into Banfield. I got her uh, just a checkup when I first got her um, to make sure everything was okay with her. Because as you can see, she looks a little scraggly. She didn't really, she wasn't really playing or acting like herself. And we just assumed that it was because my grandpa had just passed away. But it wasn't. Uh, I had been taking her to the Banfield Pet Hospital in Powder Springs, Georgia. And then I ended up taking her to a different location after not getting uh, a lot of results from them. That other Yorkie is my sister's dog, Bella. And so when I ended up taking her to the Banfield Pet Hospital in Kennesaw, Georgia, I ended up finding out that she was really, really sick. What made me take her to the hospital is she had been like, randomly throwing up her food so you have your own sheet down there and i will go get your bed later but you're not getting in my bed so the vet suggested that i make her a blend food diet which was boiled chicken boiled carrots and rice i grounded it all up together and then put yogurt over it and she ate it like that it was helping for a while, but she was still sick. When I took her back to Banfield, they ended up telling me she had a scratch on her eye that had got infected. She had an ear infection in both ears, and the infection had been there so long to the point that her ears were, like, compacted. So I had to do an ear flush to get the crud out and then give her medicine for the ear infections and uh, medicine on her eyes as well. This is how she looked that when she came back from the hospital, this next clip here. She's feeling much better. Look at me. Her eyes still healing, but it looks much better than it did that first day. And she's been running and playing more. Only thing is she needs a bath really bad because her flush when the stuff comes out of her ears, it seeps down onto her. But she has a grooming appointment on May 8th. So I was in Georgia helping my grandma get situated after my grandpa passed away for about eight months. Then I accepted my job that I have currently in the airline industry. And Annie and I ended up moving back to South Carolina. So that's me leaving for the airport. She was sad, you'll see in the next clip. But then when I came back from training, me and her moved into our apartment. Mommy, this is our house. Do you like it? Huh? Oh, you do. I got to clean up some, but this is our house. You finished exploring? Hmm? Do you like our house? I think you like. Oh, yes, I like it. That's how mama got it. What do you think? Come on. Come on. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Oh, at least you don't like it. It's okay. Don't like it.
had to talk over this clip because I had Bob Marley playing really loud in the background. I didn't want to get a copyright tag. But I was asking her what she thought of the beach for the first time. Um, she liked the sand and exploring in the sand, but she didn't really care for the water. But anyways, um, she's a purebred Yorkie and those dogs tend to be sickly. She does have arthritis, she does have gum disease, and she does have allergies. So she does take children's Claritin every day for her allergies. There's not much I can do for her gum disease or arthritis other than keep her weight down. She was 16 pounds when my grandpa had her, which is way overweight for a Yorkie. She's 11 pounds now. But anyways, again, she's my Yorkie now. I'm going to always do what I have to do to make sure that I take care of her the best way that I can and the way that he would have. Um, as his health declined, so did hers, but I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that she lives a good life for the rest of her life. So there was your introduction into Annie.